Hi all, so today we are starting, uh, we are continuing our uh, Rhino to Illustrator workflows and we are basically going to look into uh, uh, these kind of uh, outcomes. Uh, we are looking into drafting now and uh, plans and sections. Uh, so we start with the plan, section, a top view, uh, a roof plan uh, and uh, also um, an elevation, all for extracted from, uh, uh, from Rhino and put into uh, into Illustrator in order to give this uh, kind of uh, a good, nice, uh, smooth quality volumetric or evocative kind of uh, starts to become an evocative uh, uh, drawing uh, due to the the volume that the shading can can be can provide both in, into the form and, and try to get that uh, two-dimensional drawing to become more than those. Uh, called, uh, let's say, descriptive two-dimensional elements. So we'll start with uh, with uh, with Rhino. And uh, uh, so basically, we'll start with our model. And this is our model uh, that I just previously modeled. And it's the same as the previous one. And then we'll jump into uh, a new Illustrator file and, and uh, work on this workflow. So in order to get uh, this um, this in order to start having and, and slicing and having orthographic models, basically the technique is going to be focused on the clipping plane. So a clipping plane allows you to, uh, to as, it's, as the name uh, mentions, to clip or slice a plane. So you go to clipping plane uh, in, in, a, in a command control and they just uh, ask for the first rectangle and in this case I'm going to do the top view that means you're going to slice it horizontally, so you'll have, you are going to have a plan uh, out of this. So, and you you basically put the clipping plane around the object itself. So you click outside, it, it forms a, click, a clipping plane. Immediately, it will start pop, popping up. Uh, obviously, because I draw it on the top view, it slices into the CP plane. So now, the how you can move it around is basically using the gumball, which is up here, uh, windows down. Uh, and start slicing at whatever level you want to slice your model. Uh, models, the most efficient plans are where the openings are and explore those kind of qualities. So I'm going to try to focus on uh, on this uh, on the window, obviously. We always have the, the openings on the door, but uh, in order to maximize the opening, the window opening, I'm going to use at this level. But basically plans which are generally taken around one meter, one meter and a half height. But again, the important thing is to see to see the features of your design and the openings are or the voids are part of those things. Um, as you can see, the the clipping plane is only active. Uh, you can see them in all viewports, but it's only active and it's only slicing the perspective. So if you want to make it active in other viewports, you click on the view plane, um, go to the properties manager, and there's this little symbol here. Um, that will allow you to um, to to click on it and and, and select which um, which uh, viewports you want to use. So in this case, I want to use the top view, obviously, because it's going to the to be the the um, the plan. And uh, obviously, now you can see immediately once I'm moving, you can see how many plans you can extract it. And this you can always copy and add uh, plans into into the clipping planes and level uh, different animal uh, elements um, so we'll start from this and uh, the next step basically after the clipping plane is in order not to move it and uh, is ideally to add a new layer which I already had previously done but uh, add a new layer uh, clipping planes I'll just put clip to be different on the previous one and add that clipping plane into so you go to the properties manage, you get out of that, go here and clip. So in this case, you don't need to move it around anymore. So you can always come back and, and have it and, and without uh, trying to find the exact same, uh, trying to manipulate uh, the exact same view. Um, so the next uh, element is what we did before is take uh, make 2D out of this clipping plan. So what What's interesting about uh, uh, Rhino is that you can actually take them the 2D, the two-dimensional drawings, all at the same time. You don't need to go one by one. Uh, so, and that's what we'll do. So, we'll we have the clipping plane now at the moment, and uh, we are going to ask uh, for this clipping plane uh, 
to to I, I can hide it and again the still the the drawing is the same element so it's just a hidden and I'm going to ask for the make 2d to make the the drawings to execute the drawings from the top view the front view and the right view in this case so that will give us immediately the plan uh, uh, this, let's say because this is the side so it's the south elevation and then uh, the east elevation uh, of, of our model and that for now it will be sufficient so we go the next step is make 2D select objects and press enter and uh, basically this window will pop up and uh, what you can choose the view but in, in our actually what we are going to ask is third angle projection or a first angle projection uh, doesn't really matter it will give you the viewports that you've seen here uh, so always these ones that actives and always it will offer you the same uh, so you cannot go out if you choose these uh, it will not offer other uh, viewports but uh, you can add other elements to, to, to the views or, or go individually and, and and choose other viewports individually. So, but in order to take all the information at the same time, I'm going to use this uh, object from inputs. Uh, I want to tick now to activate the clipping plane intersections. So this will give you this kind of uh, thick lines where actually we are cutting uh, the model. And uh, we want to group output. And uh, in order to make another um, a new layer name, uh, I'm going to make uh, make 2D uh, one. So I'll apply and it will start uh, making 2D. It's exactly the same thing as we did before and it will produce the make 2Ds and we'll splash it here on the CP plane horizontally. Um, it, there it goes. Um, because I, I use um, the four views, it uh, takes a little bit longer, so it's it's done one by one, one, two, three, and depends on obviously on the processor of your computer that uh, that will will do it faster or slower. So as you can see now, it's on the third one, and it will pro it'll provide the fourth one now. And here it is. So now we have this. Obviously, it's under this. Um, this layer so there's no issue on there um, so now what we are going to do is immediately uh, you can uh, either move this drawing here and uh, we don't need this um, this view so I'm going to delete that and I'm going to export um, all the drawings at the same time to Illustrator uh, from this so basically what you see now from uh, the views that we have is exactly line views of uh, of this uh, the top, the front, and uh, the right uh, elevations. So um, let's go and export this one. Select this file. Export selected, and uh, we'll put um, orthogonal drawings. Zero one, we might need more. So I'll save as Illustrator, uh, export, and uh, I'll have uh, I'll keep the same. Use CMYK RGBs for uh, uh, monitors, uh, so red, green, and blue. Obviously, CMYK is for printing. I'll always recommend to use CMYK. It gives you a more accurate transition between these colors and the colors in Illustrator. Uh, and the options. Uh, uh, if we want, actually, I, I, I didn't have hatches, and I'm going to use that, but we can also order layers. This is basically the export element. But um, I forgot to add the hatch, and so I'm going to redo that. And uh, basically, I'm going to add the hatch um, to, to, to my plan view. So basically, um, we, we basically we are going to hatch this drawing. We can do it in Illustrator as well, but uh, I think it's always simpler to uh, to do it in uh, in uh, in Rhino. So hatch, uh, select the curves. You can select those. Uh, press Enter, and uh, you start clicking inside. So this is the drawing that you are going to um, uh, disable the snaps. Uh, 
uh, is able to sneak grid snap as well. This one, this one. Again, it's the amount of lines that you have on your drawing. Uh, okay, press OK. I activated the, the snap. You can always keep on adding. Uh, you can delete also lines that uh, are not uh, are not part of uh, of the drawing. But in this case, I'm going to leave it. Hatch, select curves, and select um, select uh, the curves of the drawing. So I'm going to use this. Um, this one, this one, this one. Okay, so be aware of what you need to hatch in your drawing. So this is the inside of, of your block and the rest is going to be where... Uh, so you are looking at the interior of, of, of your drawing, but we don't need, so this is going to be Okay, so now we, are, we can complete our drawings and uh, transport these to, to Illustr Illustrator now. So let's go. Uh, export selected. So select what objects you want to export, press enter. Uh, so orthogonal, let's say portal 1. Uh, press export, illustrator format, yep, export, and uh, snapshot current view, CMYK, hatches, export the solid fills, so that will give you a, a fill already in Illustrator and order layers as well. So that will try to replicate the, the layers in, in Rhino. Uh, 